Hey everyone, here for hopefully the uh, final video for unit circle. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is actually finding some values. Uh, so uh, we've gone through this a little bit before. I'll just uh, jog your memory. Uh, we talked about on the unit circle, right? Uh, all the points have this x, y, uh, which is I'm going over a distance x, up a distance y, hypotenuse is 1 because uh, that circle has radius 1. And then all of my trig definitions, the usual opposite over hypotenuse for sine, adjacent over hypotenuse for cosine, opposite over adjacent for tangent, and all the reciprocal definitions, uh, they all still hold. So uh, sine is just the y value, cosine is the x value, tangent is the slope, or the y over x uh, that's coming in there. So, uh, so all of those... Uh, will be useful when we're dealing with um, finding values on the unit circle. So we'll go ahead and go through a few sines and cosines here real quick, and I'll be kind of jumping back and forth between a, a different unit circle and uh, this one. Uh, so sine 5 pi over 3, right? We want the exact value, uh, so that's important, exact value for these guys. Uh, so sine pi over 3, if you take a look at your unit circle, right? Sine is the y value. Um, if it's an angle between 0 and 2 pi, there's not much work there. Uh, basically, all you have to do is locate it, right? So 5 pi over 3, that's going to be down here. Um, the y value, right, is this negative root 3 over 2, so that is the sine value. And I just pull that kind of directly off the unit circle, uh, write it down, right? So that's kind of it for that guy. Uh, so I would say the sine of 5 pi over 3. Uh, this was that negative, right, root 3 over 2. Uh, you can also do these with triangles. There's other ways, but using the unit circle uh, for angles between 0 and 2 pi, it's pretty quick. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, so let's say maybe I have this. Um, I'll try. Uh, let's see. Which one do I want to do? might make one up. Um, Another easy one to start. So let me go ahead and before we tackle some of these other guys, uh, maybe we'll do this one. Cosine negative pi over 4. Right? That one's not too bad. Um, so negative 5, negative pi over 4. If I go ahead and try to find that on the unit circle, right? Uh, you'll notice it's not there. All the unit circle angles are positive. Uh, but you could just kind of mirror it, right? I'm going this way, uh, pi over 4 in the positive direction. I want to go in the negative direction, right? So negative pi over 4 would be down here. Uh, what we normally call this 7 pi over 4, right? So that uh, distance right down to there um, that I could use, right? And go right down to there. Uh, that would give me that uh, negative pi over 4 or ending at that 7 pi over 4, right? So that's kind of what we get right there. Um, what is we're looking for cosine so that's x value so that's going to be that uh, root 2 over 2 so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, jump back over to um, that paper probably have to exit out of the drawing here uh, so that's going to be our positive root 2 over 2 for that guy All right so this is going to be positive root 2 over 2 All right um, so all of these are mainly about uh, just finding, right, for sines and cosines, where's the angle, what's the x, what's the y, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, for the other ones, right, uh, you may have to do a little bit of work, right? So uh, if I want secant, right, uh, secant is 1 over cosine. Uh, so I might have to find cosine first, right? What is cosine of pi over 6? So cosine pi over 6, right? Again, if we go to our unit circle, we're just locating that pi over 6 value. Uh, so that's going to be right here. Cosine is that root 3 over 2, right, for the x. Uh, so I would take that root 3 over 2, and that will be my cosine value. Uh, so that root 3 over 2 is my cosine. And then I'm going to flip it, right, for secant. So this is going to be 2 over root 3. Uh, now, depending on your instructor, uh, they may want you to rationalize or not. Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. You can leave it to a root 3. It's perfectly fine. Uh, for other people, you may have to multiply, right, this top and bottom by root 3 to rationalize. Uh, most textbooks are certainly going to do this. Um, so you'll have a 2 root 3. If you're looking like in the back of a book, 
uh, for an answer. Two root three over three would be what you see rather than just two over root three. Uh, it is useful to know when we get to solving equations that these are equivalent. So uh, that is uh, something that may come up later on. Right? If you have secant equals this value, it might uh, be useful to know it's the same as two over root three. But uh, as far as what we're doing for right now, uh, this answer right here is perfectly fine for me. Uh, so you can leave it just like that. Uh, all the others go kind of the same way. Tangent and cotangent are uh, slightly different, so we'll, we'll do one of those uh, here in a second. But let's go and do a cosecant real quick. Uh, so if I were looking at, let's say, um, we'll just do, how about this one? This cosecant of 17 pi over 6. Uh, first off, where is 17 pi over 6? Right, i got to figure that out. And then once I figure out that, um, cosecant is the opposite of sine, so I need the sine. And then I can flip it around. Uh, so we'll go and go through that process. Uh, so let's see. So 17 pi over 6. Let's see. That is an awfully big angle. Not something that's going to show up on the unit circle just yet. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is subtract 2 pi. Right? Uh, 2 pi is the full revolution. means I go all the way around. Uh, so I can either go, if I'm going, trying to get bigger, I can add 2 pi to try to go uh, further around, or if I'm going the opposite way, right, subtract 2 pi uh, to get back around to an angle that maybe I recognize. So, uh, so let's go and get common denominators for that. So 17 pi over 6 minus uh, 2 pi, which is the same as 12 pi over 6. Uh, that will be the same as 5 pi over 6. Uh, so these are what we call coterminal angles. They end at the same place. Uh, so that 5 pi over 6 is what I'm looking at. And we said we are interested in the sine of that. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So 5 pi over 6 is right here. Uh, so 5 pi over 6 would normally just start here, right, over on the right. And um, I would be able to go clockwise, right, so, uh, or counterclockwise till I got uh, to that 5 pi over 6. Uh, 17 pi over 6 right, is going to go a full revolution around plus that extra amount. Um, but it'll still end at the 5 pi over 6, right? So uh, still ends right there. The sine, right, we're taking the y for the sine value. Uh, so this is going to be a 1 half. So I'll go ahead and uh, just keep that in mind, right? That 1 half is my sine. Uh, so we'll say... Uh, let me go ahead and write it up here. Uh, so we would say the sine, all right, of 17 pi over 6 is the same as the sine of 5 pi over 6, right, because they are coterminal angles and at the same spot. And that is off of the unit circle, right, we said that was 1 half. Um, so pulling that unit circle value off is just the y value that we found, that 1 half. And now for cosecant, I'm just going to flip that around, right? So this cosecant of 5 pi over 6 or 17 pi over 6, right, either one. Um, I'm just going to flip that around, right, to be 2 over 1. And 2 divided by 1, same as 2, right? So this, we're going to say that value is 2. Um, so all the sine, cosine, secant, uh, cosecant values go kind of the same way. First, locate your angle, right? might be a negative angle that you're not sure where it's at. Maybe you can just um, draw it in. Maybe it's something that you have to uh, actually add 2 pi to recognize. Or like this one, maybe we have to subtract 2 pi. But first thing is uh, just figure out where is that angle going to be. All right, once I get that, then I can go ahead and um, just find the x or y, depending on if it's cosine or sine, secant or cosecant, um, then just flip those sine and cosine values. So that's kind of it for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and do tangent uh, next here, tangent and cotangent. All right, kept my computer from dying. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll go and do a tangent and cotangent next, uh, just to show you how those go. So let's go and try, um, maybe we'll do this uh, tangent of 3 pi over 4, this guy over here. That'll be an easy one to start with. So tangent of 3 pi over 4, right, we're going to kind of locate that 
uh, 3 pi over 4 angle, and then tangent is the y divided by the x, right? So the y over x. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, switch over to this unit circle, right? Uh, so at 3 pi over 4, right? So that's right here, uh, the y over the x. Now, uh, for root 2 to over 2s, right, they're the same, right? So y over x, root 2 over 2, divided by the same value uh, is going to be a 1, except one of these is negative. Uh, so this y over x is going to be a negative 1, right? Um, that's really nice for the, the 3 pi over 4, pi over 4, any of the pi over 4 angles. Um, just dividing those same two values by themselves means tangent is going to be 1, uh, or maybe a negative 1, right, um, in the negative quadrant. So uh, that's fine. Uh, tangent, I'll go ahead and write down kind of all the values you can expect on those, but you're basically going to get a root 3, a 1, or a 1 over root 3. Um, maybe 0 undefined if you're exactly on these quadrant angles but uh, there's not a whole lot of variety for those either kind of like uh, for sine cosine you always get one half of root three over two root two over two but um, we'll go ahead and label those in a minute so i am right here uh, at that negative one right that's kind of like again my slope negative one uh, it's right there uh, so we'll go ahead and um, switch this over and say that tangent value is just negative one, right? So that's it. Um, in general, right, if you're looking at all of the tangent values, and sometimes I'll even label these when I'm creating my unit circle, uh, just what are all the y over x's that you can get all the way around? So y over x, zero divided by one is zero. Uh, one half over root three over two, uh, those twos will end up dividing out and you just get basically that 1 over root 3. Uh, so if it's these fractions with the 2s, you can kind of ignore the 2s. The uh, they'll cancel out when you divide, and you just end up with the numerators, like 1 over root 3, or root 2 over 2, which is 1, or root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Uh, 1 divided by 0, however, is undefined, right? So tangent is undefined at pi over 2, or at 3 pi over 2. Anytime you divide by 0, you're going to get an undefined value. Uh, and then those patterns are just going to repeat, right? So this is root 3 over negative 1 is negative root 3. Uh, this would be a negative 1. It's the one we just did. Uh, 1 over root 3, right? But negative. And then back to 0 again. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. Uh, so those are all my tangent values as, uh, as we go around. You can finish up uh, quadrants three and four kind of the same way. Uh, so tangent's positive, quadrant one, negative quadrant two, positive again, quadrant three, and then negative again, quadrant four. Uh, so let's go and do one more. Let's see which one I want to do. Um, I actually have to scroll back down for this one. Uh, so let's go and do maybe a cotangent. Um, uh, let's see, how about this cotangent 11 pi over 6, right? Or, um, yeah, we'll do that one. Cotangent 11 pi over 6. Uh, so this is going to be, right, find the 11 pi over 6 angle, uh, find the tangent, and then flip it, right? So we're going to go find 11 pi over 6, that's right here. Uh, cotangent, or um, tangent would be, right, this negative y over x, negative 1 over root 3 would be my tangent, uh, which means cotangent is going to flip that, so negative root 3 over 1. Uh, so that would be my cotangent value that I'm putting in. Uh, so this would be a negative root 3 over 1, or just negative root 3. All right, so that's it. Uh, and you can do as much um, work shown or uh, maybe you don't need to show that much work. Uh, just whatever helps you keep track, right? If you have to write down tangent first, uh, that's not the one we did. Uh, we did this one down here. This was negative root 3. Um, so if you have to, so I'm just going to X that out. Uh, so if you have to go through and write down, write the tangent first or do some work, right? Figuring out where the angles are first, that's fine. Uh, if you can kind of figure it out on your own, uh, that's also fine, but uh, just keep in mind, the more you try to do in your head, a lot of times the more opportunities for errors 
are going to occur. So uh, just write down as much as you need to, to keep things straight. Um, tangent pi over 2, right? That's the one I mentioned before. All right, this one we could say that one is undefined, right? That was that uh, 1 over 0, which uh, basically you're just going to get undefined. Uh, you may also get that occasionally with some secants and cosecants. Uh, if you're like right, right on the pi or um, 2 pi, pi over 2 lines, depending on the function, All right? So if I were looking, say, at pi, and I was looking at um, doing, uh, let's say, a cosecant, right? Cosecant of pi. Uh, the sine of pi is 0, right? Just the y value. But cosecant flips it to a 1 over 0, and then that's undefined. So uh, just know any time you have division by 0, you're going to get those undefined values. Uh, okay, I think that is it. Hopefully uh, that helps you with, uh, trying to figure out, you know, what is uh, sine, cosine, you know, tangent values. How do I figure those out with the unit circle? Uh, like I said in a previous video, we're going to be using these later on. Uh, whenever we're solving equations, this will be an extremely useful tool uh, just for drawing and reasoning things out um, when we get to solving for equations. So uh, stay tuned for that a little bit later this quarter. All right. I uh, hope you guys have a good day.